Welcome to the Evening Review. My name is Sukhane Klache, and joining me in studio is well-known gospel artist, Dinaf. Welcome to the Evening Review. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Um, recently, um, um, uh, Dinaf Entertainment, in partnership um, with, uh, with the Break Free Movement and Childline, launched um, the Speak Out, Seek Help mental, mental health awareness campaign. Mm -hmm. um, why have you partnered with Break Free Movement to run this campaign, and how will the campaign run? Okay, during the pandemic, uh, for the past two and a half years, we have uh, actually came in contact with a fellow artist who were going through a lot of depression and mental health issues. And uh, we were limited in how to cancel them and uh, uh, solve some of these issues. I was only able to speak to them as a fellow artist, and number two, because I was, I'm a motivational speaker and a spiritual person. But then we realized that there are people out there who are trained to, to do this work, psychologists, uh, social workers. And we thought, okay, since this thing is really serious, why don't you come up with a day when we can, you know, invite professionals on board and then they will be able to introduce their services and also partner with us. And then they will be able now to take over from us when it comes to uh, counseling mental health issues on the on the side of the musicians mm -hmm. and that's what we did now we partnered with the break free movement which is uh, falling under the office of the first lady we are with uh, child line lifeline namibia and then also Pur purposeful living and then we have our other partners that are coming in as sponsors and uh, we will now hand over the the musicians that will be indicating to us that they are in need to this uh, organization to do what we cannot do yeah. Um, and then, um, wh why do you believe that those in the performing um, arts industry are under severe, um, severe uh, um, um, uh, mental health challenges? Uh, the why is because uh, it is believed that artists or musicians or celebrities, they find it very difficult to seek help in a public place. Because now you should know that these are person, people that have built their lives and they look really professionally and good on social media. Uh, you sending them to a public hospital, they won't go because of the pride. And it's not a negative pride, it's just the pride of saying, this, I am an artist who's speaking to the public. Why would the public now want to be exposed to my challenges? It's an embarrassment for them to know that I'm suffering or I'm going through something. So it's just actually a, 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 a type of pride and ego from the side of the musicians. So we came up with the idea of them going at least private, mm -hmm. and then nobody will be able to, to meet them up there. Uh, um, we, we're coming about out of what um, one can describe as having, be the, having been um, the most difficult time socially in the last probably 10 or 100 years where, mm -hmm. where um, the social contact was kept to a minimum. How, how, how has this affected um, the, 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 the livelihoods of, of musicians? Uh, it was severe, very, it was heavy. You see, there are musicians who are depending entirely on music. Some of us are, we can say, blessed because I have a job, an eight to five job, I have a salary, and then I'm married and my wife is also having a job, even though she's, a, she's an artist herself. But there are those who wake up every morning that's going to the studio or going out there to market their, their music and their career. And when that was shut down, music uh, lives was affected, money was not coming in anymore, depression kicked in, and a lot of anxieties, mm. yeah. Um, now that um, the uh, restrictions have sort of been eased, um, just sort of to recover from an artist's perspective and mm. also maybe to uh, help address mental health issues, mm. ha um, has, has the easing of restrictions sort of helped now to, 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 to push artists and to ensure that now they can now at least start making um, um, a means for themselves? Oh yes, we are actually praying and hoping that it doesn't come back. <laughs> because uh, Ish, I've never seen anything like that in the history of, uh, you, you mentioned 100 years, I haven't seen anything like that before because uh, we heard of the Spanish flu, we're not born that time. Mm. But uh, after it was lifted, we can gather a thousand people now. Shows are happening every day. People are planning now again. You can see people traveling everywhere every day throughout the country. Some are flying now, going outside the country to, to, to do what they can do best, which is make music shows. It has helped and is helping. And we are grateful to the government and also to the world for finally opening up the industry.
Mm. Yeah. Um, during this time of the lockdown, were there instances, um, or to what extent, um, did um, you as a, as a, as a, as a, as a perform performing arts industry come together to look for financial support, number one, and maybe perhaps even from government? What type of interventions were there, sort of just to help artists through that difficult time? Yeah, the, the popular thing that was done more by most of the artists and organizations together was mostly online events, which was uh, so something new to us, especially artists, because we are not used to performing for, for there is no physical crowd. Mm. You are performing alone and the people are watching you from wherever they are. That was the most popular thing that was done by the musicians and also organizers of events. I also remember there was an, an event where the South Africans came in here, the Benjamin Dube them. I was part of that also. And even that crowd was a bit limited, but people were watching online. And uh, definitely there were a few incomes that came in and uh, it has helped a lot. Mm. Yeah. Uh, why, why, why do you believe um, uh, 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 people in the performing arts industry um, suffer from a lot of uh, mental health challenges? Why do I believe so? Mm. Or what do you do? You believe? Uh, uh, let me rather do, uh, rephrase. Do you believe those in the performing arts industry um, suffer from mental health challenges? Yeah, because you see, the normal public or a general member of the public, when looking at us, uh, they, we look perfect to them. We look like we have no issue, because you see, when you look at the star, the star is shining bright. You don't expect that when the sun goes down, we will have issues that we are battling with. But, uh, and, and that is where you are put on the spotlight now because you can't complain, you can't argue, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't cry like the rest of the people. Mm. Um, the, the, we cry in secret and that affects us a lot because you are not, allow, you are not allowed or permitted or, uh, to, to speak out. You, most of the time you are the one that is out there motivating people. You are telling people to go to school, to study, to work hard. When you are found in the same situation, you have nobody to tell you to do the same thing that you are telling the others. So then you go home, secretly you are dying. You are in pain. You have nobody to talk to because now we also have this ego, egos where even among ourselves sometimes it's very difficult for me to tell the other artists that I have a challenge with my family or with my wife or with my children. The people that came to us merely just approached us because of the spiritual side, trusting us that since this guy, they are gospel, I think they are able to keep our secrets, and which we, we did. Um, we've seen um, uh, suicides. Um, remember, the, mm. uh, remember last year there was a notable suicide of a, of a, of a, of a rap musician. Mm. Um, is enough being done to lend a supporting hand um, to artists to help them deal with the problems that they are going through within the industry and also maybe from, from, from the side of government? Uh, and I think that's why, why we're coming up with this event that we're organizing. Because at the launch of the event, uh, when we had a press conference, the, uh, Dr. Teron, who is from the office of the First Lady, she actually was surprised to see that artists want to partner with the, 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 the non-performance um, industry, mm. where we go to the organization that had already been involved with this thing for many years, and she says the first time she's seeing it. Why? Because they don't have anybody to talk to. People who are normally looking for counseling, they go themselves. They go to Chadline, they will call Chadline. Musicians don't call anybody. They don't go to anybody. We, we, we say, as they come to us, we will direct them to these guys. So enough is, is, is only being done to the member of the public, not to the artist, really. Because even the people you are mentioning that in the past we have lost so many people, I think the people that were close to them who are also musicians, they knew sometimes that these people are going through issues. But what can they do? They, don't, they are not equipped to talk to these guys. All you hear probably is uh, keep your head up. You will hear we sing like that, we rap like that, keep your head up. Tomorrow is another bright day, brighter day. Uh, you know what, you're gonna be fine. But they are looking for uh, more words than that. And these words can only be found with a psychologist. Well, these guys are going to put you on the program. They're going to put you on, on, a, on a few list of things that you need to do in order for you to recover. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we don't have that. We can reach the artist, which the, the organization will not be able to reach. Even the, the Break Free movement, they told us that these are people we can never reach, but you can reach them. So as we have access to them, we are now 
transferring them to those who may not have access to them to do what they do best. Um, we'll continue um, um, with more questions related to um, the social ills affecting artists, but um, before we do that, I'd like to go for a short commercial break. Please do stay tuned. daily show focusing on all sport news and current affairs. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, contact sportrap at synergy.com.ma. The Noorilag publication focuses on the central northern regions of Namibia, highlighting the activities that have an impact on locals as well as the role players in economic and social upliftment. The Noorilag is inserted in the Republic and distributed countrywide. The Noorilag provides the ideal opportunity to communicate with our readers on what your business has to offer not just for locals, but for tourists and locals visiting the central northern area of Namibia. Providing a wonderful opportunity and platform to enhance your brand, contact Republican at synergy.com.na. The My.na Cars Show provides viewers with the best in class cars content, engaging interviews, as well as a showcase of the latest cars related news, products, and services. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, contact My.na at synergy.com.na. My.na Cars, more than just a ride. Welcome back to the Evening Review. We continue our conversation with gospel artist Dinaf um, on a recently launched um, health awareness campaign looking at, um, at, looking at um, um, social issues affecting artists. Um, from the outside, one always sees that, um, uh, or one always has the idea that um, artists, uh, artists um, uh, take to substance abuse um, or uh, drugs and or alcohol, mm -hmm. uh, women uh, and so forth. Um, uh, th what could what do you think is the contributing factor behind why artists are behaving in that way or are perceived to be behaving in that way? Uh, you see, um, it is true there are those that do that, but um, a person will not just decide to uh, wake up one morning and say today I just want to torture my body by by drinking or smoking this. Uh, a substance abuse in most cases is actually a replacement of a feeling that you're going through or you want to hide behind something. You are seeking for some type of love, attention or affection. You might not f have, found, uh, have gotten it from either your father, your, your parents or your, your just family. So what you are put in a situation where you are now the leader and as a leader, you are now under pressure to perform. Mm -hmm. And to perform here, I, I don't mean on stage, I mean to deliver. Because uh, most of us and most of the people out there might have come from uh, homes where the father was not present. So I remember when I started singing, I was not gospel first. I was hip hop and I was secular. And what we did is that uh, we, were, we were looking at we were looking up to people who have been in the industry longer than us, but some of them were outside. 
We looked at the, the likes of the Tupac, the Notorious B.I.G. and the Snoop. And when we looked at these people, we admired them with the, 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 the admiration for the father. Whatever they said, we did. He, even though they were far, they would say something in the songs, in the video, and we would, we would do it in high schools here. They would, we would see them drinking some type of alcohol, we're going to look for it. Either we're going to steal the money or we're going to rob somebody and just drink what they drink in the music video. The abusing of substance is because there is that void in you that is crying out to be filled. And you can only fill it up with what is available at that moment. Since there is nobody to speak to me, whoever is available to speak to me will become the one that will fill the void. Uh, it's the same thing when, it's a funny one, but it's the same thing when, when, when Eve was found without anybody to talk to. She found a snake to talk to. Mm -hmm. And uh, since the guy was not there, the snake started talking and she listened. Because we always want to listen to somebody and whoever is talking is empowering that person with ideas. And of course, we turn into substance abuse, you know, drugs and alcohol. I went through the same thing also. Uh, I'm not better than the others that are, that are going through it now. And I'm not, uh, I'm not looking at them as people who are sick because mental health is not a sickness. Ne? Yeah, uh, that's the difference the public needs to understand that these people are not sick. They are going through issues. They are battling the battles of life and they need somebody to talk to. And we have people on the ground now that are available to be talking to. And we believe that at least in the following the next few years to come, we don't want to hear an incident where an artist have killed themselves. Mm. We will try our best with our partners. Mm. And mm. then, um, just to conclude, um, the, 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 this campaign you're launching, um, there, is a, the, 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 there are festivities planned around um, uh, helping artists deal with their mental health issues. Yeah. Um, firstly, when is this anticipated to be held and where? Yeah, we are planning to have it on the 8th of October 2022. That will be at Nam Power Convention. That will be actually more of the launch of it because we want to do it yearly. We want to do it in open spaces like stadiums and, and, and fields where masses can come and they have fun. We will be having outreaches, going to schools, prisons, and uh, churches and just be talking about this. And then, uh, we will have performances on that day. It's not a gospel event. It's a mental health music show. So they are, they will, if you look at the poster, you see that there are different artists of different genres. Or the Hishi Papa, Shkongeni Dem, Rashi Hama, Sunny Boy, Jaliza, the dinner of Lady Diana. It's a lot of people. Jericho will be there themselves. Um, just look, at the, look out for the poster and see your favorite artists. And then come also and listen to some of the guys on the poster as they share their stories and how they, how they are managing, how they overcome and how they are coping with day-to-day uh, uh, -day activities. Mm -hmm. Our contact details are on the posters, our partners are on the posters. Um, anything else that they need to know, our numbers are available on the posters. We are also available to answer the questions. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for joining us on the Evening Review. I appreciate that. Thanks for having me. Thank you for tuning into the Evening Review. Have yourself a pleasant evening. Good night.